Welcome to a new episode of Pour It Up. Today we're in the beautiful Logan Hotel on the Parkway checking out the Urban Farmer and the incredible cocktail program that they've got here. Let's go see what it's all about. So the 45th Ascension is a take on a classic aviation and it has a really cool story that relates to Philadelphia. Tell me more about it. Yeah, this is one that I, I think um, is a really nice homage to, to Philadelphia. We call it the 45th Ascension and it's a variation on a classic cocktail called an aviation. And the 45th Ascension title refers to the first manned balloon flight that took place right here in Philly um, and in attendance. Um, back in 1783 with George Washington, George Madison, or uh, John Madison, uh, John Adams, um, you know, all the, all the players, right? And we took this and gave it a little more lift. Um, so we have uh, Penn 1681 vodka, uh, Creme Vet, which is this really pretty floral liqueur, lemon juice, there's some uh, maraschino liqueur, and we top it off with a sparkling brew rosé. Extra mist, but... So we use hydrosols and essential oils, and we came up with this lovely little floral garnish um, so that we that just for aromatics, <laughs> just for aromatics, and it just kind of lives on the outside of the glass, so it stays with you, and it doesn't necessarily fade away um, as you enjoy. So um, please take a taste and tell me what you think. Wow, that's really interesting. You know, and. And we just, we, we really want to have something for everyone, and I think this is one of those surprising um, yeah. cocktails, because it has layers to it, right? You get the aromatics from the perfume, um, but once all the nice floral components from the cocktail start to come together, it tells a complete story. So tell me about the Rittenhouse Square, which is a great take on a Manhattan, correct? So this is based on a, a classic Manhattan, and it's been uh, popular since the late 1800s, and for a good reason. I think it's one of those uh, anytime drinks that you know goes great with a with a power lunch, but um, it's a great way to wind down a happy hour, a great way to close out your night, and this one. Um, having smoked vermouth and amaro kind of kicks it up a notch and gives it some depth and texture and a little touch from the Amaro and, and, it, and it has this like campfire note, which I think is really nice. It's kind of uh, one of those happy memories that a lot of us have and, and speaks to the seasonality. So our menu changes with the season and you know, for, for cold weather, this is one of those things that'll really warm you up. Nothing is better than a nice, crisp, perfect, classic martini. And that's all the time we have today on Pour It Up. Join us next time on MyNewPhilly.com where something's always new and everything's always Philly. Cheers.